controversy in the race to replace longtime Albany Mayor Jerry Jennings. The Albany County Democratic Committee met tonight to select its candidate, but with the popular mayor now out of the mix, few committee members saw eye to eye. Brandon Lewis is live in Albany now, and Brandon, the committee was expected to support Jennings, so how did it respond to the announcement last night that he wouldn't be running? Uh, Dory, uh, things didn't go all that smoothly. It wrapped up about two hours ago in the building behind me here. Corey Ellis supporters tried pushing forward a no recommendation, meaning no candidate would be endorsed. That ultimately failed, and Kathy Sheehan won the party's backing, but not without some controversy. That was not the name. That was the vote of the committee. Mr. Chairman. Right off the bat, the process to endorse a Democratic candidate for mayor became contentious. Current Mayor Jerry Jennings was the early favorite of a review panel, but when he dropped out, it left a void. I have a real problem with us moving today on the narrow. I think the process should have been reopened for more interviews of more candidates, of those who may be interested. But the chair wouldn't hear calls to stall the process. I motion that there be no recommendation for this position as city mayor. Yeah. Well, that's fine, but it's actually out of order. So, um, the, is there a second to the nomination? Even mayoral candidate Corey Ellis tried to interject to call for no recommendation and ultimately failed. We just dismissed it. This Correct. is what this party does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me dismiss it. Dismiss it. You're right. It does. Like going to swear. So, I recognize you want to try to make it look like I don't have support, that's fine. I don't have to so I'm declined. This is what I'm talking about when I say, when I'm the next mayor of this city, we're going to end this political bickering, this political fighting. It didn't have to go this way. In the end, Kathy Sheehan walked away with the endorsement of the committee as we head toward the primary. Well, this is the Democratic Party, right? So all voices can be heard. It's one of the things that I love about being a Democrat, and it's part of the Democratic process. Now, primary day is September 10th. Both candidates saying they've hit the ground running already and will use the next three months to try to campaign for every vote that's out there. If tonight is any indication of how the next three months will go, we are in for a long and hard-fought campaign process. Live in Albany, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.